Well, now that Christmas is over, it's a good time to measure how retailers will be wrapping up the year. Laura Champagne is the retail analyst at Cowan & Company. She is joining me this morning on the phone from Memphis, Tennessee. Laura, thanks for joining us this morning. What have you seen so far that gives you hope or pessimism for the retailing sector? Well, traffic has been pretty good in our checks, and the word we're hearing back from the companies that we follow is pretty solid. I think most of us now expect 3 to 4 percent increase in holiday sales this year. The other good news is that retailers were fairly disciplined on inventories, and the level of discounting we would see is what I would call normal for the first time in a couple of years. So you don't expect to hear companies missing their earnings targets, for example, three months from now and saying it was because they had to take a hit to margins? They should be hitting, at least hitting their earnings estimates, and they should be hitting them on strong sales, which I think is most important, especially with unemployment as high as it is. Um, we were positively surprised that sales held up this holiday season. Laura, we were just talking about Sony and one of its strategic decisions. If you have to look across all kinds of categories, which kinds of products sold best this holiday season? I mean, was it electronics? Was it apparel? Which groups, which companies are going to be winners? We think apparel was particularly strong. I think that the consumer just got tired of shopping in her closet. So I think that apparel where prices were good and designs were pretty strong, we think that the consumer came out and bought. In electronics, what we have to contend with is real commoditization and an ability to see prices um, across the retail spectrum, including online. That creates um, some troubling dynamics there. So we'd be focused more on the apparel names, small ticket items, and some of the luxury price items with great products. We like coaches of stock we like, and I think their new products sold through very well this holiday. You mentioned the malls, Laura. I mean, we used to talk a lot about bricks versus clicks. I mean, how is the Internet experience gaining ground compared to traditional retail? Sure. Online is definitely growing faster than brick and mortar retail, and I think that will continue in a category like apparel. Once again, I, I think that, that there is always going to be a place for the mall, but in electronics, I think that place um, declines. In, in products like books where you know what you're getting, I think that, that for a, a brick and mortar store to work, it needs to be a product that the consumer wants to see and touch and try before they buy. Laura, thanks so much. Laura Champagne joining us there. She is a retail analyst with Cowan & Company.